welcome back to another video so in the previous video i showed how to do the season 3 quest now it's time to do the start of season 1 so we're doing aster today so aster is a little different from season 3 and then um, these other ones it's a little harder than aster but they're all the same so that's a good and a bad thing but today, let's focus on Aster. There's quite a couple changes with the start of Season 1 compared to Season 3. But I'll try and highlight um, my tips and tricks here too. So another tip I realized I didn't add in is instead of like making her stand over here and you walk towards her, if you just jump and then move in the direction that you want the android to come to. So like for me, I want her to come to the left towards me, so I just jump and hold left. That's something else I want to point out. <laughs> so over here, just jump, grab Aster, throw her up there. Not like that though. It's like his, his electric again. It's so just throw her up there, makes it easier. Jump here. For the most part, it's pretty much the same. But I'll explain everything over again. I don't remember like each single detail. There's a lot to cover, so uh, to reach like the 10 minute ish mark on YouTube, I might have to pass for some things. So again, reference this purple dot. Something else I tried doing is this Just carry her with you and just uh, Drop down <laughs> So here's the infamous B1 there's very slight changes here. I think it's like just a little bit more steam. Um, just here's the thing: you gotta go like back and forth, like all make it all the way to the end, and then come back to the beginning here. So there's two ways you can go about that. But I'm gonna show you the uh, very bad method, which is the way I've been doing it. It's a little bit harder to learn, but in my opinion, it's a lot easier. The lasers is the way up, but uh, yeah, just the uh, so with practice with the conveyor belt, I finish way faster than doing the laser method. If you really are interested, I can show you the laser method, but today it's about the uh, conveyor belt. Just take your time as usual, don't rush it. Unfortunately, the quest is still kind of fogged, so you really only get two tries here. Try not to die though. I almost died there. So really, try to kill all these enemies in B1, because like I said, you will have to go back through this way. It just makes your life a lot easier if you kill them now. So 
So here's what you think you would be done. Try to enter it, and then it'll say it's blocked, so you gotta take the stairs, which, you know, it's all the way back in the beginning. So over here, um... <coughs> it wants you to go up. I'm not sure why that... I mean, there's a dialogue box that gives you a cutscene, and it drops down, but it didn't show for me. But either way, we're not taking that way. <laughs> So right here, this is a conveyor belt. Um, there's a actually a platform down here, right below it. See these like segments. You wanna aim your aster right on top of it. Right there. So the first one is always tricky for me. I try to jump when they both shoot out like that. So let me try and wait for the timing. Just hop away to get past it. No, it has to be at the same time like that. Just hop away and hold left to slow down. And pass past each steam. I try to hop like at least twice, depending on what's coming next. Like, I see this gap right here. There's a big gap, so I can probably hop three times, but two is enough for me. One, two, there you go. Try to be aware of like where the steam points are, like right here. I know that's a bad spot. So I don't know that's kind of my limit. And for this one, I try to like wait for them both to come out. Right there is okay. Twice. See, I know my like how, to, how much to jump. So when we get here, where she gets stuck. Let's move her over to the next area. <coughs> you, you can get pretty close to the steam, but there's an after like effect, so you don't want to go way too close. But this is pretty close enough. Just hop twice, make your way over, and just hop extra, but it's fine. Just take your time with it. So for this one, um, it, they're kind of staggered. They're not directly above and below each other. Wait for the first one to come out first, and then the second one. Because if, they, if you wait for both of them, like that, by the time you hop over here, I tend to get hit. So when they come up, they also disappear. So like, this one goes out first, and then that one afterwards. So if they come out at the same time, they also disappear at the same time and reappear. So I wait for this one to come out first and that one. I'm too far. So wait for the bottom one to shoot out first, and then second one pretty close, but not at the same time. Like that one's a good one. There you go, it's good. Like that. This one, you gotta be careful when you jump, back off a little bit so you don't get hit by the... Like when I jumped past this one, I let go for like a millisecond and just... I, I stay in the gap. This one, just take your time. It's just one. For me, the hardest part is like after the ladder, because that's like the halfway point. And I mean, you see, there's like a really tiny gap right here where you can hop in. You won't, you won't make both of them. It just, it just won't happen. <laughs> so you want to aim for what's in the middle. So when you get pretty close here, I hop twice and back off like a little bit, like back there, so you don't hit this one. If you, even if you get like really close, uh, you tend to hit this steam. You hit, if you jump too far, you hit this team, so it's kind of a weird tolerance. So I stand like, probably like right here and hop twice and back off. So twice and back off. See him in that tight spot. Hop twice past that one. Just take your time, hop twice. Just wait a little bit. Hop twice. It's like I hop three times. Oh, two. Actually twice is good enough, never mind. And uh, yeah, it just takes some practice, but... Just take your time with it. Just try two hops for one, um, when you first start. And you start knowing like how much you hop. And try to pay attention to the timing of the steam. Like I said, normally you just want to wait for the... <coughs> the bottom one to shoot out first. And then the top one for most of it. And just make your way back 
to the beginning. Now it's kind of it's kind of weird, but uh, it really is just like a lot of practice and patience. I've done it so many times, and I've gotten sky on my. Actually, I think I'm bugged. I'm actually bugged. This is awkward. Oh, I don't know why, cause the uh, the thingy didn't drop down. <sighs> well, let me try this again. Actually, maybe that's not a bad thing. Since it's bugged, I can show you the laser method now. There's the dialogue. So let's go up this time. The laser method. So you just want to bring him with you. Pretty much. That's one way. There's another way but... It, this one's uh, the way I do it. If I do go up. Wait for it to disappear. Follow the laser. There's a break like right towards the end. You just gotta commit to it. <laughs> when you see it, just go. If you stop by even like half a second, you'll get hit. So just make your way through. Go up the ladder. And bring her with you. Just pull lasers right here. And then duck and move. Downwards. Oh, don't forget to bring it with you too. Whoops. It's fine. <clears throat> Still got this trick here. So this one's kind of tricky. <clears throat> <coughs> so right here, um, normally you would go towards the brick at the end, but it's at the very end, and you don't have time enough time to go through. So this one, I, I go towards the beginning, when it comes back towards here, and there's a break, I just run through. There's two cycles though, so watch pretty carefully. So for example, this one is at the very start, which you don't want, you want the other one, which breaks like a little bit past that, like right there. So not this one, but the next one, we're gonna run through. You know, not like that. She, yeah, that's actually, that's actually a brick in the middle too, I forgot about that. Let's see if I can find it. <coughs> Not this cycle, but next one. It's a brick like, I think like right here. Past the pillar and like this little ring right here. Not this one, the next one. Yeah, like right about that ring. I, I don't want to go all the way, but uh, yeah, when you get past here. Look for the next pillar. Like this ring should be the break point. Yep, it's like right around here. A little bit afterwards. So once it reaches right here, you can run through like I just did. It's been a while for me. So over here, just jump through. And teleport Aster over there to the other side. So this part, it's a really tight jump. You want to be at this very edge and then jump and hold up so you don't so you can grab the rope. You're gonna grab that like probably the last or second to last chain. So it's a really tight tolerance. Wait for the laser to disappear, just run through. Right there. And go all the way up. Cause that gap is, is a lie. It's not really like right there, it's like more like right here where it's highlighted. So wait for this laser 
disappear first and then just jump and run through. Look at that. And then here, make Asta jump down. And you can actually... No, let's not do it that way. So in this vent, break it. And you drop down below the uh, the uh, very belt like halfway through ish. So grab her, go through the vents, and let me try not throwing her. If you don't do anything, you should just drop. So teleport her over. Same thing like down here. And this part is kind of tricky because there's like an invisible like thing that hits you. So with the steam, it's. It's pretty simple, like... It's still pretty hard, because you can still hit, get hit from above. But with the steam, like... I just don't want to stand, like... The red part... You can stand, like, a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right of it. But at the very top, you gotta watch carefully where it ends up. It's like top, it starts over there, then it spreads out a little bit towards the end, right here. So you just gotta watch where it goes. So this first job is really tricky. You can't jump, otherwise you go on the conveyor belt, and if you walk through, you just fall down. So what I do is I go on, on the ladder and press down like a tad bit, at it twice just to be safe. And once this steam disappears, jump left and just follow through. Left, follow through. See something visible hits you, so be really careful when you go near steam. So now I'm safe here. I wait for the top one to go down first, then the left one. Same reason as like why you want to jump backwards. Because by the time you reach here, you, you still might get hit. So you want this one to go out first, because you're walking through it first, right? So let's wait. No rush, take your time. No one's there, so don't look screw it up. That's too far apart. That's good. Walk through. So know your know your uh, distance. Like I said, I know like I'm a little bit safe over here. That part. So this one, you see this little gap like right here. So go go right there. Remember the red part? It's a little bit left and right of it. So I'm safe here. So I gotta memorize like where to go. Like so you see the steam like this. This is a safe spot right here. It's a pretty big safe spot, but still just be careful. There you go. And then, like I said, the red spot, just a little bit left or, left or right of it. So the ladder is like, like I said, halfway point, so congratulations, but it's not over yet. Okay, there you go. Go on the other side now. Wait for steam. Remember, memorize where the safe spot is. So I know it's like around this area, like this little like line and a little bit to the right of it. So I mean for over there when I cross over, for example, like that. Have a ref have a, a, a reference point. So over here, like I said, my refer reference point is the uh, red uh, line over here. That's how that's how I know like where to stand for the bottom steam. For this one, you want to start from over here and go all the way to the left of this red red uh, line. So I see the safe spot is like right here, the small circle. But over here, save. So, I mean, for that one point. There you go. A little bit too much. Make your way through. That's a big safe spot. But don't try to rush all of it. Just, you know, take your time on it. Towards the end, just jump on the fairy belt and try to just jump on the safe spot. Then teleport Aster. So, right here, this like brown pillar part. Try to stand before that, like right here. <laughs> so find out where it breaks. For me, for me, I normally uh, I I kind of just wing it. <laughs> so it, it breaks off like kind of towards like right here. This between this like this first and second pillar in the middle, between the brown like it's kind of like in the middle. But I wait for it to come back so I can run through it. If I try to follow it. Yeah, it's gonna catch me. So you want to come at it 
and just try to come out the break. Yeah, so it's just like lighter colored pillar. That's the break point. You see a break like right here. Actually, no, next one. Yeah, like right here. So I'm, I'm gonna go for that. So no, it's not the next one. The next one after. There we go. Easy. And I'm actually running out of time, so I gotta rush. Okay, so you're done with B1, but it's not over yet. This is another floor called 1F, the first floor. <coughs> you're done with the jump quest, but now it's about quick time events. So with this one, some keyboards. Um, there's a quick time event it lets, that requires you to use the left and right arrow key. Some keyboards, if you hold down left and right, it'll just auto complete the uh, event for you. But in my case, I don't, my keyboard doesn't do that. But I do have a num lock. So you can press num lock to disable it. And if you use left, um, the 4 and 5, 4 and 6 button, if you look at it, it's a left and right arrow key. So you can mash the 4 and 6 on your numpad and left and right on your actual keyboard, the arrow keys. And that'll kind of like simulate having two left and right arrow keys. Um, the other ones are pretty easy. That, that, that was one of the harder ones. Spaceport mashing is easy, then there's arrow keys or... Sometimes they'd ask you to put in control or alts. You'll see, but um... My tip here is uh, if you have like booster, try to put it on, like weapon booster. I don't have anything here. Um, that's pretty much all I can recommend. Miha <laughs> like skill does work, but you kind of only get one try, and you pray you have good RNG. So let's go in. So what I do is I try to kill off all the guards here. There should be three guards. The third one. So I, I try to have like my android in front of me. So sometimes they can get glitched. So if they're in front of me, I can make them jump first, then me. So you either touch, you can touch the uh, laser and it'll activate the quick time event. So right there's alt, easy. So she jumps and I jump. And I kill off this guard too. When you start the quick time event, after this one, three guards follow you and then I try to jump over and then try to kill them off too. Sometimes they can glitch out and like jump downwards out of balance and you might lose like a couple of them, which is good for you. So I touch it, control, alt, that was easy. So I hop over, then you hop over. <coughs> I try to stand a little bit further away from them, just so I don't get hit right away. Okay, so I got unlucky. None of them like jumped down. But yeah, it's they're pretty annoying. I, I didn't manage to get any of them. That's unlucky. If you die, that's fine. Just keep trying. So pretty much what you want to do is uh, after you kill the three guards, hopefully you have like at least more than half your health left. And then you want to rush to the last two. Because after the, the other one, you act when you activate it, you get four guards chasing after you. And if you're fast enough, you can run, run past them. And then the last one will have... The last one will have four commands. Or four quick time events. 
And then after that, just rush towards the portal. Okay, so I got really lucky there. I was one hit away from dying. So that's the uh, that's the end of uh, Aster. And then you get a hundred coins. And then from this point on, <laughs> there's some more quests and whatnot. But when you unlock investigation mode, you can start farming coins if you didn't already in the forest before finishing season three. But uh, that's probably another video. Anyways, I hope my tips helped out. Um, next video, I'm going to show how to do the other androids from Freya and forward, which is a lot harder than Season 3 and a tad bit harder than Aster, which you just saw. So be prepared for that. In the meantime, like always, my Twitch is down below. I stream every day at 7pm EST. So if my video helped, Make sure you drop by and say hi and I don't know. Say uh, I helped you out or something. So I'll see you guys next time. Happy, happy mapling. <laughs>